So I've known about this place for many, many years, and it's actually the third location, I believe, that they've been uh, situated at here in Lviv. And, you know, I just thought it was a little bit too gimmicky, but um, since the war has started, it's taken on a completely different role. I've seen repeatedly in Lviv those who have fled from worse fighting, worse regions, a real need to alleviate their stress, their anxiety, and yes, some of their trauma, especially for their children. And what better way to do that than to spend time with some of our feline friends? Of course, during this war, it's also taken on an even more beautiful and sad aspect, and it is this. Many of these families who have fled the fighting have come here, but they've had to leave behind their furry family members because when you're a refugee or an internally displaced person, of course, sometimes you have to travel light and going with a pet just isn't viable. So, let's go uh, take a look, shall we? So apparently, Quickie here really likes her cream and sour cream that you put on a blini or a pancake. Apparently, Quickie's not the only one. No, no, don't. <laughs> okay, I give up. I surrender. You win. Oh, and Я вижу, я вижу, я не боюсь. Ну, конечно, это очень удобно. Hey, you. Hey, you, that's my coat. That's my coat. Get off my coat. Better here in Lviv than in Bucha, huh? Лучше здесь, чем в Буче, да? Но сирены тоже светят. У нас бомбили, а у них было сирен. А тут не бомбляют, но сирены тоже страшно. Мы были плантами в поле, и он всегда с нами. В Буче? Нет, это в Черновце. Это в Черновце. Да, да. У нас есть какие-то родители там. Он всегда с нами. Это как... So you, you must be sad with it.